Covering up our history? Well, that's what the University of Notre Dame is doing right now. In a shocking announcement, the school says it will cover these murals. I just saw them back in September when I was at the game. They're dating back to the late 1800s that depict Christopher Columbus in America. The university president, Father John Jenkins, liberal, says students and faculty have been complaining for years, poor babies, claiming the murals don't show the darker side of the story. Joining me now is Catherine Viz, Notre Dame student and campus reform correspondent and Democratic analyst Jonathan Harris. Catherine, let's start with you. Did the school give opposing views an opportunity to make their arguments against the covering up of art? You know, hi, Laura. Thank you for having me. Um, it was interesting to see um, how the Native American perspective was, of course, embraced, but it was seemingly impossible to seem to have a conservative viewpoint on this issue, um, especially with the idea of covering up, or in this case, erasing history as an important part of learning where we need to go in the future. We need to acknowledge the evil things that may have happened, no matter how unfortunate. Well, and pretty much all of history includes really scary and bad and evil things, and yet we want to see history. Exactly. Um, and Jonathan, same thing happened at Dartmouth College right. when I was there with these things called the Hovey Grill murals. Mm -hmm. And they were Native Americans and Eliezer Wheelock who founded Dartmouth, and it was kind of a, you know, a bit of a caricature depiction of a song about right. Dartmouth. There was a huge fight over mm -hmm. these murals. They ultimately covered them, then they opened them up, and then they moved them off campus. So right. it's the same. I mean, this is going back to the 80s. Mm -hmm. So this whole thing about covering murals, moving murals, uh, continues. Why, why is this liberal to cover art? It, you know what? It's not, it's not covering art. I mean, they've even said, the university said, they're going to reproduce them in HD and people will be able to go and see them, but they'll be in proper context. They will be they had in context. Near, they, had, um, they had little pamphlets because I was, I was there in September. I thought they were actually really beautiful. Yes, they, they do. Right. They're they really just, beautiful. And they had pamphlets explaining the context right. there, but the pamphlets weren't good enough for the it's, it's just, it's anti-history people. It's not appropriate. I hope that our mores have changed. These things were uh, done in, eight, in the 18... Hundreds, a late 1800s. I hope our mores have changed just a little bit since the late 1800s, and and to move them, cover them up, and say that's that's not where we are anymore is absolutely the right step. The, the art is still going to be available, but these things need to be put away in museums, in places where this is where we were, this is not where we are. And as long as they're constantly displayed, it says it's where we are. Well, that's Caroline, this is what um, Soharab Armari in the New York Post uh, pointed out today. Notre Dame will cover problematic Columbus tapestries. This is the kind of thing the Iranian regime does, and we criticize its Philistine barbarism. Only in US, the U.S. Academy, it's done in the name of progress and liberality. I think about the Taliban taking, uh, smashing historical carvings and cliffs, uh, which can never, can never be reproduced. I'm not trying to compare the murals, but I mean, you can find offense in everything. I'm sure there are people who look at the dome and see you know, Our Lady on the Dome, and if you don't believe the, the Catholic faith, you might be offended by it. Right? There she is. I bet you could probably get 300 students somewhere who say that Our Lady offends them and they need to change the name of the university. You see where this goes? I, I There's a, art is almost meant to offend. Right, but I mean... Not I thought when, that was a cool contemporary art oh, thing, offend people. Absolutely, but I mean, not, not to make monuments to people. I mean, Columbus referred to Native Americans as saying they would make great servants. That was his first observation of them when Did he George got there. Did George Washington... Should we take down the Washington Monument? There are things that we should be well, analyzing. That's just absolutely. The thing, actually. Analyzing, right. analyzing things is not dangerous. And no, it's analyzing, okay. absolutely. <laughs> I think more debate is great, and but And when we come Caroline, to that conclusion, it's okay. I, I do believe that this is where we're headed. I mean, I mean, at Jefferson, Notre Dame, at Washington. Notre Dame, there's a there's a hall right next door to the dome called Washington Hall. So how far will we drop the bar in terms of having a standard um, for what must be censored? And that's the true problem here is censorship, um, is that to have history, you need both sides, the good and the bad, and to pursue that evil should not be condoned. Yeah. But if you don't even know what the evil is or if people are shielded from that evil, then what's the point of having a historical dialogue in the first place? Yeah, well, I think that we want more speech, not less. Have another mural expressing another point of view. Don't cover or destroy murals. It is ahistorical, and it's illiberal. It's not liberal. Guys, great conversation. Thank you. A big show of support for President Trump's wall. We'll tell you who it's coming from next.